I heard mutterings around camp about the Rite of Covenant. Is that why you've called me here? Sorry, I think there's been a mistake. What sort of dullard botches something this important? I'm leaving. I heard mutterings around camp about the Rite of Covenant. Is that why you've called me here? I'd like you to have the Ring of the Maiden. You seem quite set on it. I am. In our time together, I've come to know you as a kind man, well-deserving of his soldier's trust and loyalty. But you're still much too naive. That innocence will see your head roll someday, especially if you mean to rule a kingdom. Which is why I would ask you this. You've spoken time and again of your wish to restore order to this land. But are you prepared to deal with the consequences of doing so? To make decisions that will govern the life and death of your people? Indeed I am. Though, I've made a promise to myself. Which is? I will never let the luster of the crown wash away my humanity. Those who forget the very citizens they claim to serve are unfit to lead and unfit to rule. Call it naive if you wish, but that is the principle with which I hope to restore Cornea. A belief that will neither bend nor break. There's the Elaine I know. But you've changed too. Those eyes burn with the fire of true conviction just like you say. And a fire I can't help but gaze deeper into. I'll support you however I'm able. Both in leadership and in life. I'd like nothing more, Hilda. That's that, then. You may have much yet to learn, Elaine. Hmm? But being a warm, gentle soul isn't one of those things. Never lose that. With you at my side, I never could. is even Elenius. The might of the unicorn runs deep in his veins. Elaine is twice the man you'll ever be, Kerr. And my spear will win him back from your foul clutches! <laughs> Strike at this new body of mine, if you dare. You'd simply be volunteering your own as my next vessel. The ring is mine to command. And a futile demise is all that awaits you now. No. Why must it end this way? <laughs> Finally realized, have you? Stay strong, Joseph. If not for yourself, then for him. None can ever hope to halt my designs. I'll bow to you now! This can't be it, can it? 
this day is won by my hand, and the grandest of rights shall soon be upon us. Worry not. You'll make a fine Zenoiran vessel once it is. Say what you want. My trust in Elaine will never fail. Enough. Can't you see it's over? <sighs> the ring? But why does it hold such vast energy? It's really you. Let's see what this ring can do then. Galerius, you saw in Fevreth's innocent people mere vessels to house your own fallen empire. But as long as I live and breathe, you'll never inflict such callous devastation on our world. How do you know of that? Piteous ghost of an age long past, I shall grant your soul the freedom it desires. You will not! Keep your guard raised, Elaine. My brethren were robbed of their corporeal flesh, left to wander in the void of nothingness for 800 years. Their pain is my strength, and my body, their fury given form, while the souls of Zenoira remain trapped in the beyond. Their emperor shall never know defeat. Your majesty. Baltro! How goes the right? Flawlessly. We lack but a single soul to complete the spell. Then these insects shall be more than enough. Grant me your strength, and we'll stamp them out together. It won't be half as simple as you think it. What do you think you're doing? Apologies if I wasn't clear, your majesty. The last soul the sigil seeks is none other than yours. Traitorous fool. Finally gone senile. Mm -hmm. Is that you, mother? Your majesty. But how? Mother! Tis surely some manner of miracle, but the Queen still breathes. Speak to me, please. I never imagined he possessed such frightful mastery over the bodies of others. Elaine, I can't say how much time has passed since that day, but you've grown so much. If only I could have been there to witness it. It seems I owe Joseph a great deal for raising you in my absence. The season is complete, and the gate to the beyond stands open and true! <laughs> Rise, 
prisoners of the Unicorn's curse. Spectro phantoms from an ancient time. You shall be the first to perish by my new found strength. Joseph, see my mother somewhere safe. And you, your highness? We end this long drawn war, here and now. This infernal chapter in Feverth's history shall finally come to a fitting close. Come home, both of you. What primitive evil should I reanimate next, I wonder? A monster capable of crushing Feverith beneath its heel, perhaps? There's no reasoning with a man so given over to delusion. Prepare to be freed from its hand! Spirits of Zenoira, hear my call. Your Emperor is no more, and in his place, a tyrannical fiend who craves nothing but absolute control. Tell me, is this what you truly desire? To sacrifice your very essence in service of this demon? Pathetic child. Souls of the Departed, if you've any humanity left within you, lend me your aid! <laughs> Strength is leaving me! You've ruined everything! A cursed fool! These souls are not a power one can wield, Baltro. They are human lives. Human will in its purest form. Impossible! The city's very nature has been recast! How is this happening? It appears we have arrived just in time. This isn't how my tale concludes. I won't allow it. The only escape awaiting you, Ultra, is death's golden grace. Wretched disciples! You dare turn on your master! The time has come for me. Let us lift the curse of the unicorn and bring the salvation of heaven to these lost souls! I'm ready. Thank you, Elaine.